Hello, it's June, and you know what that means, and it means it's time for a new monthly, and um, yeah, because, you know, because it's June and I don't have June set up yet, <laughs> so um, this page took me bloody ages, absolutely ages, I was originally going to go with like cakes and presents, and then I was like, yeah, you know, but I really feeling my birthday this year because there's been such a lot going on and I just um, but it is also gay pride month and um I thought you know what why not do a gay pride uh spread so that's what I've done um I took the colors from the original flag on my cover page here well or as close as I could get to with the pens that I've got okay so you know don't come at me and go that last blue is not right because you know I know it's a bit too dark but it's just, it is what it is so you know um I didn't want it to be incredibly complicated so um you know I, I just went for a stripey type effect I hope I haven't like I hope I haven't done anything wrong and offended anybody, and if I have, I'm very, very sorry. But, um, you know, it's just, it's just, this is just what I came up with. Um, I did do presents throughout, like, the rest of the monthly spreads, um, because, you know, I don't want to completely ignore it. It is also my son's birthday, um, even though I'm not with him this year to celebrate it, but, you know, again, it is what it is. <laughs> Um, this is probably one of my most colourful uh, uh, cover pages. I'm sorry, I'm saying er an awful lot. It's quarter past eleven at night, and I've been doing this for about four hours now. My back hurts, and I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, I've watched like three musicals. <laughs> <laughs> what did I watch? I watched. Oh no, I watched Dirty Dancing and um, and look, and I fucking smudged it. Look, can you see it there? But I'm a I've just covered it with my hand. Look, oh, fucking blue. Um, yeah, I watched Dirty Dancing and then I watched uh, Mamma Mia. I was actually looking for Grease, but I couldn't find it on Netflix. And I couldn't be naff to look through like Amazon and Now TV and all that lot. So I just stuck with what was on um, on Netflix. So yeah. And then I just started um, Labyrinth, but I'd, I've, I've finished. Um, there are a couple of places where I actually paused because I got a bit into the music and started singing away. And then I was like, you can sing and draw at the same time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This purple is lush. It looks exactly the same as the fucking blue on camera, but it's not. It's really, really nice. It's my kind of purple, you know, lovely royal purple. And I was going to do the letter in the letters in black, but um, the um, flag that I found had black in it. I don't know if that's right. I hope it's right. Um, so I sort of hummed and I hard and then I was like, no, use black as a stripe and we'll just, we'll just go from there. Um, yeah, I think it works like this. I did debate also like doing the letters black anyway and then maybe using a silver pen or something to pick the letters out in but I was just like, Do you know what, I've had enough of this, <laughs> I've had enough of this cover page now, I like it but you know. I don't have forever to spend on cover pages. I love watching colouring in on hyperlapse because it just like leaks out of the pen by the look of things, doesn't it? It's like, yes, go on, get on the paper. <laughs> Because these are quite thin nibs, that's why it took me so long. I would have done it with Tombows, but um, 
I don't have Tombows in all the colours that I wanted. I don't think I've got any browns. So, um, yeah, this is the blue that I'm a bit like, uh, crap, it's a bit too dark. So I'm really sorry for those of you who might be offended by the fact that this is not as light as the flag, but you know, it's the best I could do. Okay, so that's it, cover page finished. Whew. Now we are on to my normal habit tracker, and I realised my extra fine pen is crap. So I, I don't use it beyond this tracker because it's it's almost worn away. Um, I'm tracking most of my habits on this here plane tracker. Um, there's a few new ones on here, mainly for Daryl. Um, he uses three different programs at school called Bug Club, Spelling Shed and Numbots. So I've put those in as well as his reader book, basically, so that I know um, what we're doing and what we're not doing. Um, the gap there you see in the middle of the grid, a uh, horizontal gap, that's because I would use a slightly thicker pen so that I am aware of where my habits end and his begin. these are so tedious to draw you guys there you go see nice nice and thick line in the middle I also like to do a thick line around the outside of my um, trackers mainly because it just looks better and I don't know I've always been someone's put a thicker border <laughs> around the outside I don't, I don't know why Just writing them all in now. I wrote them in pencil and then rubbed them out as I, as I went along. Um, yeah, that's that's all mine above that dark line, and then from here on down, these are Daryl's. This, you see, I got distracted by, um, I can't remember which song it was. And then I was like, get on with it. <laughs> I think it was the bit where they start doing naughty dancing in Johnny's quarters, you know, in Dirty Dancing. Love me a bit of Patrick Swayze. <laughs> right, this is my square tracker. Um, you've seen me do this a gazillion times by now. I track 10 things and I also have a row for the dates. Um, there is a four cube square in the middle and the I do a mark around the outside every three and, oh, is it one quarter or one third? I can never remember. Every quarter, three and one quarter. <laughs> because I do three marks, do one at a quarter, one at a half, and one at three quarters. Yeah, every three and one quarter squares around the outside, and then I line it up from, like, one side to the other. And then I just draw my horizontal lines in. It's really quite easy once you get going. However, if you don't want the hassle of drawing these out, I do have them as a PDF for sale. That's a handy hint. Always turn your book around so that you are not leaning your ruler on the edge of the page or the like folded spiny bit. You see me, I turn my book around because then the ruler's not going to slip or like fall off. Okay. I do like the square tracker. It looks really, really good. And then I came up with the idea of writing in the um, titles in in rainbow. Excuse me if you can hear me slurping. I'm drinking tea. So 
the dates all around the outside and then one to turn up the middle went back just erased a few pencil lines right now we're on to my sleep tracker this is quite simple really I just do um, sorry <laughs> 1 to 30 down the middle there on the left side of the sleep tracker is how well I think I slept and on the right side of the sleep tracker is the time according to my Apple watch um, some nights I might only sleep a couple of hours but I'll wake up feeling great and other nights I'll sleep 10 hours but I'll wake up feeling like crap or I'll think oh I didn't sleep very well because I won't feel refreshed and that's pretty much it um, this tracker I'm doing now is my steps tracker and this is very very simple very very simple blasted presents I wish I'd never bothered a pain in the ass to draw <laughs> And I kept with the theme of um, using a different colour for each letter of the um, titles of each page. There you go, that one's all done. Next. This is my tarot tracker. This is very, very simple. Basically what I do for my tarot card is um, I pull a card each day and I've given myself two lines per day to write about said card. I have been asked, do I ask the cards a question when I pull um, my card of the day? Yeah, not so much, more it's uh, what have you got to tell me today? You know, um, I don't ask about anything specific. It's more like, you know, is there anything I need to know? What What did you want to tell me? That kind of thing. Um, and it works quite well. Sometimes what I pull, I, I know pertains to me. And then other times I pull a card and it means nothing to me. But then other people have come back and gone, well, oh, yeah, that, that hit home. And I know then that it, it was obviously somebody else that the cards were talking to. So, yeah. Right, this is my final tracker. This is my chores tracker. This is another one that takes quite a while to draw. But I love using it because it just it works <laughs> it well it works for me you know um, this is also available as a PDF if you want to use it but not actually draw it yourself obviously it won't be personalized um, I think I do something like five weeks for each day and something like 12 odd tasks I think for each each day to do as well so there's plenty of space there. Again, I use my finer um, pet artist pen to draw the inside lines of each little uh, tracker grid. And then I use my outside pen to draw the uh, my outside pen, my thicker pen to draw the outside lines. <laughs> After I'd finished this tracker, um, I took a little break and I walk around because I'd been sat for quite a while. I also took the opportunity to grab a baby wipe and clean my ruler. This is something I do uh, every month when I've finished drawing in the chores tracker because a lot of that black pen rubs off onto the ruler. Okay, you, can, you can't help but get some transference and my weekly spreads, I don't use a black pen, I use coloured pens and if you don't rub it off, it will, um, 
it will murk your lines it'll make them grubby looking so yeah as you can see here I also played with the date a little bit and um, played with the date but you know use different colors to write in the dates normally I do this all in black I did think about doing the chores all in different colors and that just that was too much like hard work so I thought well you know there is black in the flag as well so I'm gonna pull that out um, the I've got that run the wrong way sorry the um the pens in the top of the screen those are the colors on my watch face um and they they seem to be colors used is it like on the everything flag I d I'm sorry I don't know a lot about the different flags wasn't aware until recently that there were quite a few different flags um and my gel pens are the ones of the original flag so yeah the, the coloring in I did on the front page sorry about that that was the um I took those colors off of my pride watch face I'll get it right one of these days <laughs> so yeah Could you try that's my watch talking to me so there it is that's that all done and yeah I took a quick break there wiped my ruler off with a, a thingy and moved about a little bit grabbed some washi tape with lots of rainbowy type colors on and um, went to work on the weeklies and this is pretty standard you've seen me fill these out a gazillion times before or set these up a gazillion times before I decided that because I had so many colours, I was going to um, actually use more than one colour per week. Normally I just do one colour and that's it. But I use two on each week, just so that I got to use them all really. I love this little stencil, it's great. Yeah, you briefly saw my watch face just then. Um, it's It's the circular one from the Apple released. <coughs> Excuse me. You can Google it to find out what it looks like if, if you don't have an Apple Watch. And then I filled in the calendar and just, you know, ding, 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 it's my bedtime. <laughs> As you've seen it all before I will super duper speed you through this um, so I'm gonna show it to you at the end anyway so yeah it just shows you how I drew it and the colors that I use just really super fast so the little stencil I got on Etsy um, I can't remember the seller I know they didn't post to the UK and um, my friend Mary very very kindly purchased it and sent it to me which was really really nice I must remember to use Tomway River paper in my future plan art next year because the pens react so differently on the paper that I used in that one. They look so dark. <laughs> so just the last little bit of colouring in on the on the um monthly and sorting out the uh, calendar on week 25 and we're about there really so here you go there's the cover page for you my habits and my mood and pain trackers my sleep and my step trackers My tarot card of the day tracker. My chores tracker. 
pick 22 and 23 and week 24 and 25. Don't forget the thumbs up, subscribe if you wish and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new content. Thanks for joining me today, take it easy guys, bye!